Hello engineers, welcome back to Engineering Design Simplified. In this video series, I will be solving tough engineering mechanics problems. If you want to watch more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel and press that bell button so that you will be notified when I upload a new video. Today's problem is two beams AB and DE are arranged and supported as shown in figure. Find the magnitude of the reaction at E due to the force P equal to 890 Newton applied as shown in figure. In this problem given is two beams A, B and D, E are arranged like this and a load P at 30 degrees to the horizontal is applied uh, here at this end B and the load P is 890 Newtons. Due to this load we need to find the magnitude and direction of reaction at E and all the dimensions are as shown in figure. Let's see in the coming slides how to solve this problem. First let us see free body diagram of beam AB. So at the end A there is a hinge, at the end B there is a force P is applied at an angle 30 degrees to the horizontal and at C there is a roller here. So let us see free body diagram here. So applied load is here as shown in figure and a reaction at roller is RC acting upwards at the end at the hinge end A there will be two reactions one acting downwards another acting horizontal like shown here. So the distance from here to RC is 2.44 meter that is 1.22 plus 1.22 meters and the total distance A to B is 3.66 meters that is given in the problem. So let us take moments about A. So moments about A can be written as sigma MA equal to 0 and moment due to P uh, about A can be written as the vertical component of P into the distance that is P sin 30 into 3.66 that equal to the moment due to RC about A will be RC into the distance 2.44. So he, it is written here RC into 2.44. So from this we get RC equal to after simplification we get RC equal to 667.5 Newton. Now let us see free body diagram of member DE. So on this member at C there is a reaction RC acting vertically downwards at a distance 1.22 from D. So 1.22 is given in the problem here. So since on member AB RC is acting vertically upwards. So on member DE it will be acting vertically downwards that is shown here. At hinge end D there is a reaction vertical reaction acting vertically downwards and horizontal reaction acting towards this direction. At this end E there will be a reaction RE acting towards this direction that is perpendicular to this plane. Since this angle is 60 degrees then this angle will also be 60 degrees with the vertical. So the distance from D to E is 3.66 that is given here 1.22 plus 1.22 plus 1.22. So there is a reaction RE acting at an angle 60 degrees with the vertical and distance is 3.66 meters and a reaction RC is acting vertically downwards at C and distance is 1.22 meters. Now let us take moments about D. So uh, uh, moments about D will be sigma MD equal to 0. So moment due to RC about D will be RC into this distance 1.22 that is written here RC into 1.22 and moment due to RE will be the vertical component of RE that is RE cos 60 into the distance 3.66 that is written here RE into 3.66 into cos 60. So after simplif after uh, submit substituting the values and simplification we get uh, RE equal to 445 Newtons that is the reaction at E is 445 Newtons and direction is 60 degrees with the vertical. That's all for today's video. If you like this content, please like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.